Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up an acrylamide gel. This one is a little bit more involved than the Algoros gel. So we will not actually pour a gel, but I will take you all the way up to the point where you pour a gel. I'm going to show you what to do. This is the uh, gel apparatus that we get from Biorad. Okay? And uh, these Biorad gels are very uh, apparatus. Uh, this is very characteristic in the sense that it's green and white. Okay? And they've got this mini gel box as well. So, before you begin, if your uh, instructor tells you that you're going to pour two gels, here's what you need you need one of these cores. Okay? This is a core. That is a clamp. That's going to help you two gels. All right? You need two of these clamps. Each one will clamp one of the gels for you. You need a stand. And usually some stands would either have four gels, or in this case we have two to pour two gels. And then you, of course, need a gel box and a lid for that gel box. This is everything you need to run two acrylamide gels. And so what we begin with is that you take the plate that has the spacers already attached. Take those plates and put them with the spacers face up. Okay? Like so. Line it up. Now, as you will see, the spacer is uh, uh, straight edge, the inside edge is straight except when it gets to the top and it is, there's a notch on each of the spacer. Okay? Now, that should show you that the straight edge should be oriented towards you or on the bottom and the notched edge should be on the top of the gel. Okay? So, you've got the plate, you've got the spacers, straight edge on the inside, notched edge on the top, okay? Put it with the spacers facing up. All right, you get you a box of Kleenex, and you get a Kim wipe, like so, and you moisten this with 70% ethanol. Now, the reason we're doing this is you need to remove every speck of dust on this plate right here. If you don't, it's gonna obstruct your gel, okay? So you just kind of wipe this out, the spacers and the gels, like this. Pick up the other one, same thing. Wipe out all the dust from the glass plate, like so. And then you take two smaller, skinnier plates with no spacer attached, like this, and you can use one or the other side. Okay, it doesn't matter. But since the, I've chosen to use this side right here, this is the side that I'm going to clean. So squirt some ethanol and clean it off with the Kim White. And then lay it on top of the clean plate face down. Spacers facing up, clean, smaller plate facing down. Take the other one, same thing. Wipe it off, clean it off, lay it down, face down, like so, okay? The next thing is you grab one of the clamps for each of this uh, set of clamps plates, and the stand should be oriented to the bottom, like that, okay? You, have, you can put it down, and it should be standing like so. You grab this bottom down, okay? And you work it by making sure that the two glass plates are even on the bottom and on the side. And you do that by using a bench top like this, like so, okay? Stick it in to the clamp, let it fall to the floor. And you begin to hold it straight and work it down very firmly like that 
And the idea is that you want these two edges to be flush, to be straight. If they're not straight, your gel will leak. Okay? So you put it down, you hold two glass firmly, you push down like so on a flat surface like that, and then you clamp it on one end, clamp it on the other end, and you inspect the two edges and you can tell that they're flush, like so, okay? And so the clamp simply is, if you do that, you're loosening the gel, gel plates. If you do that, you're tightening it, okay? And then you put it in like this with the tall plate oriented toward the clamp and you pull the clamp back like this, okay? And you clamp it down. Kind of work it so that it's straight, like so. Okay? You grab the other set of plates, work it down like that, get the clamp, put the set of plates in between, like so, hold it down firmly on the bench, clamp one end, hold it down firmly again, clamp the other end, inspect, make sure the two plates are flushed, you stick it in into this stand like so, pull back and clamp it down. Okay? And then you use, you make up your gel. Your instructor is going to tell you or show you how to make up the gel. This is the acrylamide solution, which is a 40% acrylamide solution. We've got recipes for you on how to make this up. You should make two gels, all right? The first gel that you pour is 4, 5, 6, up to 12%, and that is the resolving gel. You let that polymerize, and then you come in and you put a comb in place, and then you pour the, what's called the stacking gel. But somebody will demonstrate that for you. I just wanted to show you how to set this up, okay? Once you make up the resolving gel in a beaker like this, all right, if you're not in a hurry, you don't need to degas it. Mix it up at the T-Med, at the APS or ammonium persulfate. Mix it very carefully like this. And then you use a transfer pipette that I actually had with me, like so. And you use that to add gel to your setup. And you just kind of squirt it in like that. And you're going to have some on the side. But you squirt it in like so. And you fill it up until it's right under that green mark. Like so. It doesn't have to touch it, but you leave about, let's see, a close to half an inch from the top of the narrow plate. Okay? And you do the same thing on the other side. Use a transfer pipette to fill it up, like so, until you're about half an inch from the top, like that, okay? And then you stop. Now, notice, if you're an expert, it won't leak. But every once in a while it leaks, all you have to do is take it apart, clean it again, and set up the apparatus again, all right? Now here's what I usually do. Here's what I usually do. After you've layered the resolving gel, I take a 70%, a bottle of 70% ethanol, and I squirt ethanol on the top until it comes to the top, okay? Squirt ethanol on the top, again, like that. The ethanol serves two purposes. Number one, it seals the top from the air. Because if air is in touch with the acrylamide gel, polymerization is going to be inhibited. Okay? That's the first purpose. The second purpose that the ethanol serves is that it gives you a smooth top service. So that when you come and you suck out the ethanol and you wash it off with water and so forth, and you put the comb in and you pour the resolving gel, 
you're going to have a flat surface that's going to be combined with your stacking gel. Okay? And so you do this 70% ethanol uh, for two reasons to keep the air from being in contact with the gel and then to have a smooth top layer of the gel. And once you've done that, then you can leave it for half an hour. And it takes about half an hour for the average gel to be polymerized. And sometimes if you, if you can't use the gel until the next day, you can actually pour it. Pour this, add either water or ethanol to it, and you actually take this entire setup and then you put it at four degrees. And you leave it until the next day. Okay, so you can pour the uh, resolving gel 24 hours before you start, but the, uh, the stacking gel has to be poured immediately before you begin your work. Thank you very much.